Hey guys and welcome to my channel. I'm Kristen and today I'm sharing with you guys ways you can use $1 placemats from the dollar store. So let's get into the video. For this first DIY, I'll be using these faux wooden books. These were all only a dollar from a yard sale. So a couple of them I already did paint white a while back, but they did need a couple extra coats. This took about three coats and this was probably the longest DIY of the entire video, which it doesn't seem like it would be a long one, but when you're painting three coats of paint on the sides and you're trying to get like those little crevices in the backs and all of that, it does take a, a little bit of time to do that. And I'm just using the Waverly chalk paint in the color white, but probably any type of white paint would work for you. The next thing I did with these was grab some rub-on transfers. Now I have quite a few older rub-on transfers from the Dollar Tree, so I decided to put them into some good use. So these ones say, hello spring, and they're kind of springy, but they are really cute. So I just cut a couple of these down to size and added them to the fronts of the books. We, we watch the sun go down over the same old town like so many times before. No, things are only $1.25 there, but I really do try to get some good use out of these rub on transfer sheets. I also like purchasing them off of Amazon. I think you can get quite a few between like $12 and $20. It seems like a lot, but you get so many more with your sheets. And I say sheets because you do usually get quite a few than just the one for $1.25. But I try to use as much of the, the sheet as I possibly can. Normally I use the entire thing. I think I did have a tiny square left of that one. And I just saved it for a different day. Now I grabbed these boho rub-on transfers and I probably just grabbed these because they were rub-on transfers. And they're still really cute. It's not really my style. I really do like the farmhouse style, but these are all really pretty. And I thought, for some like fun toppers or fun covers for these books that I could make this work into my decor. Many times before, and I know that we're not perfect, but I'm gonna miss all that we had. Yeah, I know that we're not perfect, but I need this night for the I'm gonna be using this placemat. I picked up all of my placemats from Dollar General and they're only $1 from there. So they do have some really cute ones at Dollar Tree. So grab those if you choose and hopefully you can come up with some ideas or use some of these ideas that I'm doing today in this video. So I decided to use the stripe off of this placemat. The friends and family gather here are really cute. I think I might use that gather down the road, but I wanted to use these for the side of the books. I thought they looked really pretty and honestly, I will say a glue stick works great for placemats. I did a video. It's been a while with placemats from Dollar Tree and I used glue sticks and a lot of people asked if it lasted or if they started peeling up and they don't. Like I think Elmer's glue sticks are amazing and I use them for everything. This next one I decided to dry brush because that white was just not working for this placemat. But I decided to cut the stripe down and just kind of make it like a shape or not a shape, like stripes on the top, stripes down the sides, just to give it a little bit of something extra. I think this kind of looks pretty farmhouse to me. So I decided to just wing it and go with it. And I cut three pieces of this stripe out and just kind of laid it out kind of like a present. And then once these were completely done, I did wait for that glue to dry. You can just lay these out however you would like. This is what mine look like when they are done. And I think these are the cutest little books. I cannot believe I waited so long to use it. I think I've had these books for a year now. Last time. This DIY, I am reusing a frame and I'm using this placemat. This is the lemon one. I think this was so pretty. And like I said, these placemats all came from Dollar General for only $1. So I decided to trace the back off and then cut along the sides. So this placemat fit 
as a backing for my picture frame. Now I usually get all the frames from Goodwills or yard sales. I love finding them at yard sales when they're a quarter. I'm not sure on this one. I know it was probably no more than a dollar at most, uh, but I am reusing it. I cannot remember exactly what I used for this, but I am just taking the back using a ton of hot glue and then I'm going to be pressing that placemat along the back side. And I did wait until that glue completely dried because I wanted to make sure that this was not going to peel up. So once that was done, I figured it does need something else. You can't just add a placemat to the background. Unless you chose to, you could totally do that if you wanted and just threw something in the center. But I thought this was actually really pretty, but I decided to go ahead and use this wood piece that says hello. This came from the Dollar Tree and I am just using the Waverly Wax in the color Antique. I wanted to stain this, but it is just so hot outside and muggy and humid and it is just not working for any type of painting outside right now. So I just used that antique wax and then I just took a paper towel and just wiped off the excess, waited for that to dry, and then I am just dry brushing the hello with the Waverly chalk paint in the color white, of course, uh, just to kind of give it a little bit of extra. I should have just painted the entire thing white, but I kind of like that dry brushing look. I'm using a felt flower from a chalk couture bundle and then just some greener leaves that I had and gluing it to the top. And that is all I did for this project. This DIY, I'm using this piece. I'm not sure if this is for a sign or for a chair or for the back of a chair. I found it from Goodwill and it is kind of like a thick woven, I would say like backing piece to a frame or something like that. I really don't know. It was under a dollar or just over a dollar from Goodwill. And I'm using this placemat from Goodwill. And I'm just going to be applying this right to the center. I'm just using a ton of hot glue and I am just putting it right in the center. I did hold this down until the glue was completely dry because I did not want this bubbling up. And then once that was completely dry, I decided to go ahead and add some florals and I am using a felt flower once again from Chalk Couture, but I'm sure you can find felt flowers anywhere or you can even make your own. This greenery I am using, it, I want to say it's kind of like a lamb's ear. It's kind of fuzzy. Uh, this was from Dollar General and I'm just kind of checking it out and seeing how I want this before I glue it. I normally do this, but I don't always show every little step by step because sometimes my steps are a lot longer than you would probably want to see. But I just glued that flower to the corner and the greenery and that is it. I think this piece is actually really cute. I wasn't sure how that wood on the back or that wood brown color on the back would look uh, with the placemat, but I think it is so cute. This next DIY, I'll be using three of these wooden houses, this home sign that was from Walmart. These houses I picked up off Amazon and I think they came in an eight or 10 pack. I will link them down in the description box for you guys. I've been using these a lot lately. I recently used these for a 4th of July DIY video, which I thought those houses turned out so stinking cute. Um, and I just like doing these. You could probably make your own if you chose to. I know my husband, I could probably make these, but I feel like once we got the wood, I would probably have no interest in it at all. I'm using this placemat. This is also from Dollar General. I don't know why I said that. I told you all the placements are from Dollar General, but just in case you didn't hear, or you walked away from your TV or your phone, all the placemats came from Dollar General. Now I love using 
Almer's glue sticks. I prefer the ones that have the purple color because then you can really see where you glued. And I just pieced out that placemat and I'm just adding that to the top of the three of these houses. I think this is so pretty and it, you can kind of use it as scrapbook paper. It, I don't think you would have known it was a placemat if I just started gluing these pieces on. You'd probably think it was scrapbook paper. So that was kind of the cool part about this placemat. But once these were completely done, I decided that I wanted to glue them together. Probably could have just laid them out on a placemat and then cut it out just like so. But I wasn't sure if I just wanted to wrap some twine around it or add a sticker to the center or just leave them as is. But I'm like, you know what? We're going to glue them together and then we are going to add that home sign to the bottom. I kind of had a different a different thing going in the beginning and then I decided on this. And I'm so glad I did. I think this turned out so cute and it is such an easy piece to put together you guys that is it for the video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please make sure you give this video a thumbs up and if you are new to my channel i would love you consider sticking around and subscribing and i will see you all in the next one bye no